Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we are going to be looking at Wanted Dead for the PC. The game is developed by Solo Limited and is published by 110 Industries. Now the odd thing about this game is it's actually made by the teams who worked on both Dead or Alive and the Ninja Gaiden franchises. So this game should be epic, yes? Well, not exactly. Here's more details in the review. Our game's story, well, in all honesty, it's nonsense. It's not told particularly very well, and large chunks of it are either out of order or just non-explanatory at all. You're part of a special unit within the police force, known as the Zombie Unit, and the first part of the story is great, because you go to stop a bank heist. It's just everything after the first chapter that becomes a little bit of a mess. Our main character is Hannah, and she'll be joined by three other members of her crew, along with Gunsmith and the Chief of Police. The cast is a bit like the story, in that large parts of the character development seem to be missing, making you unsure whether you should like or care about them. Okay, so with this crew working on this game, the gameplay should be incredible, right? Well, yes and no. The problem this game has is it's trying to be a hybrid of slasher shooter, and along with that it's throwing in a ton of other stuff, like bullet time, combo kills, sword parrying, minigames, and that's just the start. It's like, instead of focusing on 8 things and being good at them, the game's chosen to do 40 things and just sit back and see what happens. The graphics have gone for the western style look, so incredibly ugly. They're not bad, they're just not pretty either. I think if the game had gone for the anime look, such as Scarlet Nexus or What God Eater Have, then this might have sold a little bit better. What's even stranger about this game is that its graphics change as well, and you do actually get a few anime scenes, which when switching between the scenes, just seems a bit off. Levels within the game are very nicely done. You get big locations to explore, whether it's a police station, a dance club, or the streets of Hong Kong. Lots of objects are destructible, and you get various different effects depending on if you blow them up, set it on fire, or blast away it with your machine gun. Wanted Dead has mixed reviews, and truth be told, it deserves that. The game is about 18 hours long, no side missions, a story which is told poorly, janky controls, and no real replay value once you complete it. It's not a bad game, and I really did enjoy it for the most part. However, it feels more like random bits pieced together, and then pushed out for release as a full game. It's like there's clearly missing or cut content from the game, which should put everything together, but it just isn't there. The game is a good game, and I do recommend it, it just doesn't feel like a fully finished product. Well, that's it for this for you guys. Thank you for listening, thank you for watching, and please subscribe.